Welcome back to this channel. This is going to be my uh, analysis of the S&P 500 and where I think the market is going to go uh, the next week. So we have had a historical drop in the S&P 500. So it topped in February, uh, February and it dropped only in four weeks, 35%. And usually bear markets, they drop around 35% to 50%. The last uh, recession or the financial crisis, the market dropped uh, nearly 50%. So this could basically be the bottom of the market. So there have been many discussions whether or not there's going to be a V-shaped recovery or there's going to be a U-shaped recovery or there's going to be a W-shaped recovery. Well, we do not know how the market is going to uh, recover. We can look at the technical analysis and make an estimate of how the market is going to uh, to proceed from, from now on. Uh, but if we were to have a V-shaped recovery, we would basically be looking at a market that, that fell. And then we would see a shape similar to this, where the market bottomed and then it would basically uh, continue growing and surpassing uh, the top in February. I think this is over optimistic and I think this uh, crisis will last a lot longer and therefore a V-shaped recovery is uh, probably too optimistic. There are industries like the airline industry, the hotel industry, and uh, uh, and uh, social events of any sort that will be affected by this crisis for quite a long time. The other other recovery that people have been talking about is a U-shaped recovery, and that basically means that we would uh, we would hit the bottom, and then we would have. Uh, a market that would go sideways for quite a long time, and then it would recover. Um, comparing that to what has happened since the market bottom, a U-shaped recovery is probably not uh, what is going to happen. The other alternative is a V-shaped recovery. And in that case, we would see a, a top, a bottom, and then we would see uh, another top. And then we would see another another drop that would probably most likely exceed uh, the, the previous drop. So it would look like something we would go top, we would go bottom, top and then bottom, and then after we bottom for the uh, second time, we would basically continue uh, upwards. That would be a V-shaped recovery. And I think this is probably the most likely the, um, the way the market's going to go. I don't think that we will um, see the lows again. I think that the market is going to go uh, somewhere here and then it will continue upwards and the reason why I'm saying this is because uh, this was a historical fall where markets fell 35% in only four weeks we had completely oversold the market and then we had a massive rally where we probably had an overbought market and therefore, we should see a retracement back. Uh, but I do not think that will go all the way uh, to the lows or even continue. We will most likely visit uh, the Fibonacci uh, retracement levels uh, um, at this, this point. And I'll show you what I technically mean. So if we get our Fibonacci tool, we take 
the lowest point and drag it all the way to the high point. We can see that our first 33.6 uh, levels are around here. And we also have the 50, uh, 50 uh, MA, um, 50 moving average here, the 20 exponential average, and the uh, 30 uh, exponential average. So I believe that the that we will basically break this resistant uh, support line here and we will continue to the 38.2 um expen uh, the 38.2 fibonacci level and we will most likely also uh, reach the 50 fibonacci level and that means that we will see something like this we will have markets the S&P going to around the uh, 25.75 uh, level, and then we will have um, another go at the highs. It may well be that we will touch the, the 60, 60 uh, 61.8, Fibonacci. Uh, in that case, I would guess there will be a lot of uh, support. Also, historically, this area has been an area which we saw the support uh, only a few weeks ago. And I would guess that buyers would come in here and start buying. I do not think that will go higher because we can see that it touched uh, uh, 300 uh, MA and it was uh, rejected and we will most likely uh, revisit some of these lows and um, before we continue um, upwards. So this is my analysis. This is what I think will happen in next week and probably also uh, the next probably the next two weeks. Um, and the main reason why I say this is because the airlines industry has been absolutely destroyed. The same goes for hotel industry, restaurants, and so on. There's still a lot of people that are unemployed, and those numbers will increase. And even though the, if we saw the corona uh, virus disappear today, there will still, still be a lot of people that will be unemployed. Um, uh, the next reason is that Warren Buffett came out this weekend and basically said that he had um, the Berkshire Hathaway had sold all the stocks in the four major airlines. And on Monday, I'm guessing that uh, the airline industry will basically be hammered uh, because of that news. If Warren Buff Buffett uh, decides to get out of the market, uh, you probably should bet that many other people are going to get out of of that market, and we'll see a sell off of uh, airline stock, um, and that will also um, make the market uh, go lower. So, thank you for this time, um, and um, good trading. <laughs>